We need help. We need people that are willing to give up their time to help these children learn. Learning is a profession that everybody should get involved with. All across the world, parents, friends, aunts, uncles, grandparents, teachers, because we need to teach the whole child. And that's the way we're going to leave no child left behind. We all have responsibilities to make sure every child in America gets an education. And so we are gonna invest in early childhood education to make sure that every child is prepared when they start school. And I won't just talk about how great teachers are, I will reward them for their greatness by paying them higher salaries and giving them more support. How far is it from the school? Maybe about a block, I guess. You could say a block. Well, I got on the bus, maybe about two bus stops from there. And um, a guy came on. He had his drugs with him in his, in his little bag. He sat in the back seat, the last seat. I was, sitting, I was sat in the front seat. Well, not in the front seat, but a seat ahead of him on the right-hand side while he sat on the left-hand side in the back. And he got on, took his needle out, basically injected himself with heroin. Two stops later, he overdosed, and they carried him off the bus and took him away on the stretcher right here. He died right on the spot. So this is kind of a weird spot to come back to because it just reminds me of all the death I've seen. There's just one, one statistic back on the list. This is, it used to be a good park back in maybe the 70s, my father was telling me. But now, it's nothing but like a drug, drug infested. You probably find noodles if you walk through the crack vials and everything. Now it's just a place for drugs and prostitution. Walking around the streets of Camden and even around my school, there's tears in my heart. My heart cries. I see things that I never thought I'd grow up to see as an adult. I see a young man's bike stolen from him. I see the crack addicts. I see the dealers. I see the prostitutes' houses. I see the prostitutes walking around. I see hopelessness. This is basically, their day to them is basically, I wake up, look for drugs, get my high, wait for the next day to get it. Or possibly, in the same day, get some more money to get some more drugs. They never think about what their life might turn out to be if they overdose on what they call their, their savior, which is drugs. It's, I think I'm very grateful that I haven't been influenced by drugs at all. I, I plan never to be. I, matter of fact, I never will be influenced by drugs. Never smoked, never drank in my life. Afraid of our high school? It's for the high school around Documentary. Prostitute. Prostitute, yeah. And this building used to be a uh, Abandoned building, but they turned it into a halfway house to better the men that got out of jail, to get them, get them situated to get them back into regular life. But at the same time, some of them have still have the mindset of doing the wrong thing, and it's not even a block away from the school. So you never know what'll happen if you got kids sitting for the bus stop every day, waiting for the bus. Yeah, they'll go back to jail, but that's just one, one more life gone if one of the kids from the high school would get killed. That's actually not an abandoned house right there. It's just boarded up. It's actually a crack house, and they actually have a key to the house. You would think that it was seen Suspicious that it has a nice door on there, but it has boards on there. 
Nobody ever thinks to even check it out. It's a crack house because I've come by here plenty of times and I've seen them actually use a key to get inside. Drug addicts. So. This is not a good look because there's so much positive things that's here and you got stuff like this. You see all the gentrification going on downtown, but you never see it come up uptown to where the urban area is. It's all this happening somewhere further than where the problem is. We're not just going to measure high standards with a single high stakes test because we don't want teachers teaching them the test. We want our children also learning art and music and poetry and history. We want them to learn citizenship. This school has helped me better myself tremendously. Everybody, every, the teachers in the school, everybody I've come in contact with in the school has been just an inspiration on my life. I know that if I fear anybody else, then I'll live my whole life with fear. Then the fear just builds up on top of fear, on top of fear, on top of fear. And you don't want to live your life with fear because you'll become depressed, you won't want to do nothing, you'll become suicidal. And it's not a, it's not a way to live life. Well, nobody should have to live their life in fear or in closed quarters. We need a new school because there's so, so much talent in Camden, but we're only able to fit a certain amount of kids into the school. If we can have a school that can fit maybe a thousand kids into the school, that'll be great because it's a thousand kids in the city that has talent that they're ready to share, but nobody's giving them the opportunity yet. Oh, all right. Let me know.